This is the northeast of England. Almost 2,000 years ago, it was part of the Roman Empire, and they built this, Hadrian's Wall. It stretches 73 miles from coast to coast, and was probably built to prevent raids from northern tribes. Sound familiar? In a 2014 interview with Rolling Stone magazine, George R. R. Martin, creator of Game of Thrones, was asked about its origin. The wall predates anything else. I can trace back the inspiration for that to 1981. I was in England. We stopped to see Hadrian's Wall. I stood up there and I tried to imagine what it was like to be a Roman legionary, standing on this wall, looking at these distant hills. For the Romans at that time, this was the end of civilization. It was the end of the world. Although Hadrian's Wall was only 7 to 10 foot tall when it was built, it runs along impressive crags, which are popular with climbers. This may ultimately have inspired the Game of Thrones episode, The Climb. 20 miles south of Hadrian's Wall lies the small city of Durham. With its quaint shops and tea rooms, it's a popular tourist spot. Durham is famous for two things. It has one of the best universities in the country and a spectacular Norman cathedral. In 1066, almost a thousand years after the wall was built, the armies of Normandy invaded England from northern France, defeating Harold at the Battle of Hastings. The Normans are famous for their cathedrals, and Durham is one of the finest examples. Sitting atop a wooded hill, surrounded on three sides by water, it dominates the landscape. It's no surprise, then, that it made the perfect location to recreate an iconic building. With a little CGI magic, Durham Cathedral becomes Hogwarts Castle. But it's not just the exterior that's important. The cloister too became the entrance courtyard, seen in many of the subsequent films right up to the finale in Deathly Hallows Part 2. Over the next thousand years, the North East became an industrial powerhouse of the British Empire, with coal mines, shipyards and factories. Its influence can be seen across the world. The Stockton and Darlington Railway, for example, was the first publicly subscribed passenger railway in the world. This is Middlesbrough. Its industrial heritage can be seen everywhere. Living in this landscape would go on to inspire acclaimed director Sir Ridley Scott when he created the films Alien and Blade Runner. These films are both classics in the sci-fi genre and are hugely influential to this day. As a film fan, I sometimes dream of moving to Hollywood, the capital city of cinema. I'll always be proud to be born and raised in the Northeast.